Hey everyone, welcome to this Sunday's special SpaceX updates. In today's video, we'll be covering the preparations for the upcoming Starship flight, SpaceX's next crew mission to the ISS, and the latest Starlink launch. So, let's dive right into it! On Friday, Super Heavy Booster B-12 was lifted using the upgraded chopstick arms to the anticipated booster catch height and was later set on the orbital launch mount. That same day, Starship S-30 was transported to the launch site in preparation for the upcoming full-stack testing currently scheduled for Monday. The next day, S-30 was stacked on top of Booster 12 and is now ready for a full-stack test ahead of its flight, expected in late November, pending regulatory approval. While the launch is still a couple of months away, SpaceX is determined to show the FAA that they're pushing forward, despite delays on the licensing front. Now, moving over to Florida, NASA and SpaceX are gearing up for the launch of NASA's ninth commercial crew mission, Crew-9, to the International Space Station. Unlike previous missions, Crew-9 will fly with only two astronauts. Commander Nick Haig and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, the mission specialist. You might be wondering why there are only two astronauts instead of the usual four. That's because Crew-9 is also acting as a rescue mission for the two Boeing astronauts stranded on the ISS since June. The two extra seats will be reserved for their return trip home. This mission is also SpaceX's first Crew Dragon mission without a pilot. Yeah, so so the 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 crew complement essentially we're we're flying without a pilot and, and so fundamentally the commander is responsible for keeping the crew safe keeping the vehicle safe and making sure we get the mission done and so those responsibilities haven't changed how we delegate out all the other associated things are 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 kind of up to the commander to decide and and so Alex is going to be working to support me during all the dynamic phases of flight and, and provide me with a, and the extra set of eyes, the extra set of hands that, that I would need and that I would leverage if I had a pilot sitting next to me. Uh, so in that way, it's, it's not very different. Here on Earth, both the Crew Dragon spacecraft and the Crew 9 members have already arrived at Kennedy Space Center, ahead of the scheduled launch on September 26th at 2.05 p.m. Eastern Time from Pad 39A. Before the launch of Crew-9, we may see another Starlink launch from Vandenberg. Currently scheduled to launch on September 24th, this Starlink mission will be SpaceX's 95th launch of the year. And that's a wrap for this week's SpaceX updates. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future SpaceX news and updates. And also give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one!